Over 14 years after her death, Army soldier Lori Paestua's legacy is honored every year in a three-day sporting event known as the Lori Paestua Games. Lori was funny. She was good, a good athlete. She was a good student. She was in ROTC for four years. She was the top female athlete. Lori is the first Native American woman in U.S. history to die in combat. But before serving her country, she was an athlete. Fourteen years ago, the Arizona Sports and Entertainment Commission created this tournament to celebrate Lori through sports. Running, basketball, and I think we did softball. And those are three sports she did. That's how we started. The tournament has expanded to six sports and has been moved from Tuba City, Arizona to Phoenix, where teams from 94 tribes, 157 cities, 22 states, and three countries are represented. And every year it's gone up in attendance, spectators and sponsorship. This year alone, we went from 88 basketball teams to 108 basketball teams in one year. According to the Arizona Sports and Entertainment Commission, this year's ceremony has been the biggest one they've seen yet. In the game's first year, there are only a mere 65 athletes in attendance. This year, there are 3,300. We hope that these kids, that they take it to heart, they can do it too. They can be in that position. They can excel. That, that's the amazing part of the Lori Piasua National Games. In Scottsdale, Sarah Haddis, Cronkite News.